Willkommen, bienvenue, welcome to Broadway Radical. We are going to talk about musicals. Today we are discussing the most beautiful work by Kanda and Ebb, Cabaret. There are two versions, the original and the revival. And the movie, but nobody cares about that. And I find the revival to be much more interesting. So we're going to talk about that one. Also, it gets pretty heavy, so I'm going to try to maintain the tone of the show without being tasteless or offensive. I'm going to try my damnedest, you guys. So, summary. So we are in Germany, right? 1931. But we are also in the cabaret, and the MC comes out and he's like, We are in the cabaret! And then the chorus comes out and they're like, We are in the cabaret! And by that point, everyone just sort of recognizes that we are, in fact, in the cabaret. But then, we are on the train. Cliff Bradshaw, a struggling American writer, meets this nice little German man named Ernst. Ludwig. And Cliff witnesses and smugly suitcase past security. And then she's like, Hey, you just saw me commit this crime. How about I set you up in a boarding house and you give me English lessons? And Cliff's like, All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, sick. And then she's like, Welcome to Berlin. And the MC is like, Welcome to Berlin. And everyone else is also like, Welcome to Berlin. And Cliff is like, Oh, yes. Uh, I guess I am in Berlin now. Berlin is the city which I am currently occupying. Then he goes to the cabaret, which, remember, we are still in. And he meets this English girl, Sally. And she's like, you're so hot. Ooh. And he's like, uh, thanks. And Cliff is so gay. He's so very, very gay. But he's like, no. Yes. Let me start this relationship with this nearly underage girl who I just met. Because that's what my mom would want. And everyone expects of me back home. So they do that. Also, Ernst is like, Hey Cliff, would you like to make some money smuggling things for me, which is a crime? And Cliff is like, Ah, oh, yes, I, I, I would, I'd sick, yes, uh, I would definitely do that crime in exchange for currency. So he does that. And then, also, this old Jewish fruit man who is just like the cutest is like, Hey, Fräulein Schneider, owner of the boarding house Clifford Bradshaw and Sally Bowles live in, I like you. And she's like, well, I guess you I like you too. And they're just the cutest thing. And he's like, do you want to get married? And she's like, yes. So they do that. Except they don't. Because they're having an engagement party. And the sex worker, Fräulein Kost, doesn't like her because she doesn't let her sex work in the house. And she's like, hey, here's a thing I know. Old Jewish fruit man shoots is Jewish. And also, holy shit, Ernst is a Nazi. And she's like, hey, you know what would be a great idea. Let's sing a nationalist propaganda song. That's going to make them feel really uncomfortable. And then she's like, oh, sick, yes, good idea. Come on, everybody, let's do that. And they do that. And it's super uncomfortable for everybody else. Later, cute old Jewish fruit man shoots his like. Hey, well, still getting married, right? And Fräulein Shadow is like, But you're Jewish, and that's not a great thing to be right now. And he's like, Nah, nah, it's fine, it's totally cool. And some Nazis really peek through his window. And guess what? It is totally not that cool, you guys. And Cliff is like, Hey, Sally, you're pregnant. Let's do that in America and not here because, whoo boy, is this not looking good. And she's like, No, it's fine. Politics doesn't matter. But then guess what? Politics totally matters, you guys, like so much. Cliff tries to tell Ernst off and gets beat up real bad by his Nazi friends. And he's like, Oh, uh, no. None of this. Sally, we're leaving. Let's go. And she's like, 
yeah, no, I also I got an abortion, and he's like, ah, dang it, and then he leaves, and everything is really, really, generally pretty bad, and he's like, oh, well, there was a Berlin, and a cabaret, and an MC, and a Sally, and things were not okay. And the MC is like, hey everybody, guess what happened next? And it's pretty bad. Also, the MC has been commenting on everything in songs. I don't particularly move the plot forward along the whole time, but yeah, uh, Nazis happen. And it's a bad time for all. And scene. Oh boy, okay, that was the Broadway. Here is the Radical. Okay, so there's some pretty heavy shit right here off the bat. And again, I'm gonna try to remain respectful to the victims of the Holocaust because this is all just really messed up. Uh, there's also a lot to say about really every aspect of the play from the role of Cabaret. And the MC to Fräulein Schneider and Herr Schultz's relationship to Cliff and Sally to how Ernst seems like an okay guy until you find out what he actually is. There's just a lot. And I'm actually going to do a few separate videos on those after this one um, that will be released. I'll do the first one at least within the next week um, so I could do some follow up with some good deeper analysis that you guys can get into. But for right now, um, I'm gonna pick just one, and I'm gonna get like the main thing that I get out of Cabaret. So what I get out of Cabaret, the main thing is that, is what Sally doesn't really see at any point. It's that politics totally matters, you guys. And really, Cabaret isn't even about the people who are on stage so much, it's about the people who aren't us, the audience. Now, we immediately take a back seat in this story, in all stories that we witness because we're just that, witnesses. But that itself is a falsity. There is no way to be an impartial observer of the human race. We are all on the same level of consciousness. Everything that affects our neighbor also affects us in some way. Everything matters, and especially something as big as politics or the government, it cannot be ignored. We can't afford to. We may think, as Fräulein Schneider does, that there's nothing we can do, but we see what happens when we just give up as she has. When we see fascism creeping its way into the national scene, we can't just ignore it as Sally does cheerfully, as Schultz does hopefully. If there's one lesson to be learned from Cabaret, it's that the Holocaust happened not solely because of the acts of evil men, but because of the inaction of those who could have stopped them. And it is easy to look back now and say to these characters, what are you doing? Wake up! But it's not so easy to say it to ourselves now. It's about action and inaction. I think the message Cantor and Ebb wanted to send to the audience could be summed up in one line by the question Fräulein Schneider asks of those younger and bolder than her. What would you do? Hi guys! Thanks for watching! I love you, personally. Thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, if you want to, you know, do it. Go for it, dude. There are no rules anymore. Um, just a couple quick things. Um, the pictures, the, like, real-life shots, um, like, the, the pictures of me, and then, like, the ones that you can tell are, like, an actual, like, stage one, those were taken by Gracie Williams, who has graciously allowed me to use them, and so I will link to her portfolio website below so you can check out her awesome awesome work um, I will now be uploading these uh, the Broadway radical like the main series probably every Wednesday weekly now so you got that to look forward to put that on your calendars you kids 
Um, <laughs> and then I'll just I'll be doing vlogs. I'll be doing other types of videos, musical rants, um, that sort of thing. Basically every other day to fill in the gaps. So um, yeah, and then stay tight, stay stay tight, stay tuned for more cabaret. Um, that won't be the na the main um, one next week. So the, the next Wednesday, I'll do like another musical, but like I will do separate um, little short ones on cabaret just throughout the week. So probably every other day from now. So that's what we have going on. Go click on the other links, go to the playlist, go watch all the things. Thank you so much for your support. I'm glad you guys like these videos. Let me know in the comments below what you want me to do. If I'm just terrible and I need to stop, um, t just tell me. If you need to confess to your undying love, do it on a public forum in front of the entire internet. That's how you know it's real. Okay. Thanks. I've been Kristoff. You've been whoever the hell you are. Stay radical, Broadway.